Right. And, and in your defense, what you said previously, uh, the district attorney uh, in, in Nye County ended up not charging you for any drug possession. No. <laughs> It would have been hard for him to find it because I ain't have none on me. Well, you get through all this. You you survive 12 strokes and six heart attacks. You you get your speaking ability back, your walking ability. You know, you go to the bathroom by yourself. You get your intelligence back and so forth. But then you go back to getting intoxicated again because in 2016, you get kicked off of a flight um, because you were drunk and I guess- th That was that was, that was was some bullshit. I wasn't drunk. You weren't? I, and to be honest with you, I can't even, re even remember getting kicked off a flight. To be honest with you, show me where that, I don't even remember that happened. Uh, okay, but do you start drinking at some point? Vlad, be honest with you, I really hate the taste of alcohol. I might be like a social drinker, but I, I definitely prefer to smoke marijuana any given day. Drinking ain't even my, my cup of tea. Uh, okay, because well, that next year you ended up uh, checking into rehab again. For... Uh, I guess uh, it was a year after your overdose, you end up checking into rehab. No? I can't, Vlad, I'm, honestly, I can't really. I've done a couple of stints in rehab, but I just can't remember, man. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, I mean, do you feel right now that you're completely done with drugs? Hard drugs? No, hard drugs, definitely. Um, and um, I, I, I think I've been battle tested through, I mean, through, you know, through, um, through, through being's death. If there was any time where I'm like, but it don't even really, it don't even really cross my mind because I just know what it would do to me. And then it's like, you, like when you do drugs, you live in shame. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Okay, like, I'm a little old, like, where do I get it from? Who are, who do I get it? Then I got to hide to do it. Then the people that I'm with every day, they don't do it. Mm -hmm. So it's just like, I learned how to, you know, you change your, the people you hang with, you change your surroundings. You can get through anything, through God and your family. You know, to hold you down, to give you strength. I can get through anything, man. I'm an only child. Shit that I've been through, I don't even want to start to my own horn. You know what I'm saying? You done did that already in this interview. <laughs> like, for real. Like, I mean, the best ain't even yet, ain't even come to me yet. Real rap. I'm still trying to f find out, you know, why I'm here every day is to, is to just tell my story. Um, because I get the same satisfaction when people come up to me about that book, about how it changed their lives. I get more satisfaction from that than I get from people telling me how good of a basketball player I was. So...